the interesting stats that I've seen these days is there are people who are spending less time on YouTube now. So mm -hmm. YouTube has become less relevant and people are spending more time on the shorts, on the reels. Mm -hmm. So it used to be like people used to spend, uh, you know, three hours on TV, 10 mm -hmm. years ago. And then two years ago, they were spending three or three years ago, they were spending three hours of that time on YouTube and, you know, five minutes or 10 minutes on an average on TV. Mm. And now it has, it has gone down to, you know, they're just spending one hour on the YouTube mm. and rest of that two hours is on reels. Mm. And when that I say reels, when I say reels, it, it's all, it also includes the YouTube shorts, yeah, yeah. but that specific audience is not going to watch the whole length of video mm. because their time has split between the actual full length video versus the shorts. Mm. So I, I definitely think there is a trend that overall because of um, in media being easy to create now, content being easy to create, there is a big boom that is happening across the internet in the past five years. There's all kind of content form innovation that is happening. There is written content, there's podcasts, there's videos, there's shots, there's reels, there's stories. There's of course memes that we talked about. So uh, all kinds of content forms are coming in. And in my opinion, people consume all of them, not just one. They definitely have a bias of one, each Absolutely. person depending on their individuality, but they cover all of them. And one of our strengths have actually been that we combine a lot of these forms together in a single reading experience. So if you read a piece on essentiallysports.com, you will see a tweet embedded, you will see an Instagram embed, you will see a YouTube video, Absolutely. you will see our own highlight videos from let's say the official NBA channel, NFL channel, etc. So that's one part of it in combining the written form content with these media forms. But at the same time, uh, like these forms, I feel these innovations are always going to happen. So as a media company, it always makes sense to try to create one media content form in innovate on one content form every year. So let's say last year we did web stories mm. we, and we saw amazing numbers on web stories. This year we plan to try out reels for mm. our audience. Mm -hmm. And put we we have a lot of fan channels on Instagram and Facebook, so they're like trying out creating those reels. Right. Is is something we intend to do. A big problem, in my opinion, media organization face is these things are more video focused, mm -hmm. and licensing around videos is a nightmare. Mm -hmm. So how that is going to evolve in the ecosystem, especially in sports ecosystem where IP infringement is a bigger deal than let's say entertainment where Netflix etc are more open to their trailers being used by creatives mm. is something I'm concerned about. Uh, right. Like I see NBA videos go down all the time on YouTube. YouTube has a much stronger infringement policies, but they are not applying the same policies on shots right now. Instagram reels has literally no policy right now because they just want to grow. Mm. So how all of these things are going to play out together. It's, it's remains to be seen. Mm, interesting.